Now that Jeremy Lin is in the spotlight of a sport that's dominated by African Americans, you really start to notice the scarcity of Asians in the mainstream. Jackie Chan's past his prime. Lucy Liu's nowhere to be found. E. Honda was never relevant. I mean, he was morbidly obese. Terrible cardio. I never picked him. And Yao Ming was effective, but I think the language barrier hindered him from connecting to the Asian Americans. A few weeks ago, Floyd Mayweather tweeted, Jeremy Lin is a good basketball player, but all his hype is because he's Asian. Black Black players do what he does every night and don't get the same praise. Well, first of all, Floyd, the support system in sports, whether college or professional, is the same for the most part. I was born, raised, and still live in New York City, so by default, I guess that makes me a Nick fan. You might be from Michigan, my city versus your city. So now that you add an Asian element to this already tribal equation of sports, why is it so shocking that he would generate all this attention because of his race? I don't think I have to remind Money Mayweather that there was a time when blacks weren't praised for anything. In the 1930s, when Joe Lewis became the heavyweight champion of the world, I'm sure it meant something to blacks to see a familiar face in the papers. Now, whether Lin becomes a solid player or a trivia question a year from now, Lin's sanity is in full effect at the moment. And we've already discussed the Honda's irrelevance, so if not for a Jeremy Lin, who else would young Asian Americans relate to? They might need someone like him, just like blacks needed a Joe Lewis in the 30s. What's wrong with people getting excited and Asians taking pride, coming to games? This might come as a surprise to Floyd, because boxing isn't divided by states and logos, which is fine, but he shouldn't let someone else's success get to his head. As I mentioned before, this is the very structure of sports. People identify with their team their social groups. The NBA feasts off this very human behavior. They make millions of dollars a year off merchandising alone, selling colors that represent states, logos represented by players, and it's all purchased by fans who are prideful of the cities that they live in. And Jeremy is now a part of that culture.